Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. Welcome to uh, Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The Interlude. I didn't really prepare this. There's really not much to it. At all. Like, at all, at all. It's like, I don't know, two hours? Maybe three. I don't know. Actually, it's probably less than that, but... The hell did you do to weird silhouette of whoever that was? What new form? You're, you're who? Who are you? Well, whatever. It's totally not important. Don't worry about it. Are you getting nagged to wake up, Cecil? Did you ever sleep again? Oh, I like how Rosas moved in with him and there's like a second bed there now. That's really funny. I don't know why that's funny to me. It's just really funny. I mean, they don't have like double bed sprite or... Well, not really a sprite, but a double bed texture thing or whatever object. So they just put two beds together. Anyway, we start with uh, Rosa and Cecil. Cecil's weak to fire, unfortunately. I could just remove that, but nah. It, it's not that big a deal. It's like a problem once. And I don't really care to deal with it. Oh, do you have your arrows? No, you don't. Not yet. Um, yeah. The, oh, basically, um, as far as what this game is based on, it's based on the original FF4, as opposed to the after years. So, any equipment is going to be its, its uh, original counterpart. Let's say point to the right if you care, but I don't. So, basically, yeah. Uh, the equipment in after years, even if it has the same name, has different effects on it, usually. Or different stat gains. Usually less. Unfortunately. These are the only chests we can get here. We don't have access to a lot of the areas. This is a highly linear game. We could talk to some people, but do they say anything interesting? No, not really. <laughs> Maybe the white may just comment on Rosa. Nope, not really. Biggs is vice captain now. Okay. Yeah, the topography is changing, I guess. Sure, whatever. I don't know. I think he was on Mount Ordeals. How the d-pad does that yeah nobody really important can't even sit on your throne wait rose is the queen why doesn't she have a throne that's weird whatever let's just leave Apparently the airship's got tuned up. Alright. Yeah, let's just depart. There's nothing really to do there. I don't know how much editing I'll do for these episodes. Like, the, the battles are really fast and stuff, and there's just not that many of them. I mean, this isn't really a long game or anything. It, it's basically like a DLC that's really short. And it's the new content that's in the... Um, yeah, no, we're ready. Don't have access to the menu, so I can't show you her stuff. Trust me, I can't go into the menu. I'm trying. They don't let me. Yeah, 
Yeah, all the Eidolons like to uh, hit on Rydia for some reason. Actually, I don't think they mean it that way, but whatever. I think they're just like family. Which I suppose would make sense. Let's do chests in here. Nothing that useful, but you know. Yeah, I know. That's why uh, Rydia is like. Technically, she's like eight, like in human years, but she's aged beyond that because of the whole time flowing differently thing. Which they basically just hand wave away for like the rest of the storyline, which is kind of funny. Uh, probably Edge, I would imagine. Uh, is that the only ones that I'm looking for? Yeah, okay. Those are the only two chests. Oh yeah, there's this one here. I hate that you have to go do that. I would sprint around, but it might make it hard for you, for you to follow, so... Yeah, I don't want to go talk to them, so I don't want to loop around. I don't think it triggers unless I talk to them, but just in case, I'm going to go this way. There's nothing you can do here. I can't, like, fight or anything. 5,000 gil. That'll be useful. The chests are not necessarily in the same spot as they were in the original, and obviously they contain different things. Yeah, nothing down there. Didn't think so. Luigi arrows, don't care about that, but I do care about the killer bow. I am going to use that. Just not on Rydia. I guess I can talk to the other people here. Oh, yeah, you know, there's lots of humans there. Sure, why not? I mean, I don't love how hard it is to farm for the bomb summon, but hey. Bomb's actually a pretty good summon for single targeting. Yeah, like, Rydia doesn't, like, keep aging faster. Like, it's weird. She pretty much just became, like, an adult, and that's it. She, like, stopped, like, progressively aging quicker after that. I have no idea why. They, like, never explain it, because she spends a ton of time here. I don't know, it's weird. Oh, I'm not gonna bother completing the bestiary, by the way. In Interlude or After Years. Interlude is just such a short game, I don't care. And After Years is ridiculous, because there's like tons of enemies with the same name. But they're in different, like, chapters. And, yeah, they literally have the exact same name. <laughs> but they they count separately. It, it's annoying. Plus, there's, um, you know, certain in-game boss that is ridiculously hard to get into the bestiary. And no thank you. For reasons. Plus, you're basically penalized for completing the bestiary. You know why if you played the game. So yeah, that's not happening. But yeah, there's pretty weak enemies around um, Damsey in here. A lot of goblins, larva sword rats, some tiny mages. There's desert sahajans, eye with moth, eye wing moths, hun, hun legs, and the sandworm. They're all identical to how they were in base FF4. Basic attacks on it. Take care of business. I don't think we can go into the Enterprise. Actually, I'm curious. Can we go into the Enterprise? Oh, we can. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, the twins are here, I guess. Now, there's quite a few treasures to get here. Oh, I did practice, by the way, I guess. 
so that's why I know originally where I'm going. I did a little test play for it beforehand. At least up through the first dungeon. Alright. Let's go in here. Open these. We get unicorn horn, high potion, another high potion. Not really a very effective prison, honestly, when there's like walls missing, but hey, what do I know? There we go, holy arrows. Now those would be very useful. Still have creature type four times damage weaknesses in this game, so that'll be very good. Uh, the healing staff doesn't do a damn thing for Rosa, by the way. She still has 50 spirit, even if I remove it. Um, which way do I want to do this? Is it this way? No, I think it's the other way. Yeah, you want to put the arrows in her right hand because she is right-handed, I believe. Yeah, she has to be. Yeah, that makes sense, because she's pulling the bow with her dominant hand. Yeah. I don't know why you can equip it the other way, but whatever. We still have limited arrows in this game, but we're never going to run out of holy arrows. Rosa's not around very long. The game is super short, so characters come and go constantly. I'll let you know when to remove their equipment. They pretty, much, <clears throat> they pretty much try to get everybody in really, really fast. Understandably so, because, you know, there's not much time in the game to do that. Let's go into the castle properly. There's, a, there's something in here. You could buy some equipment here, but... I mean, I don't really care to. If the ice shield wasn't so expensive, I would buy it, but it's too expensive for what you get out of it. She already has a rune armlet. I don't really care about anything else. It's too bad he doesn't start with the ice armor, and then I could buy a flame shield, but oh well. The flame sword is the only thing I would even remotely consider buying, because there's some enemies weak to fire coming up, but I think the mithril sword is wholly elemental. Uh, well, it's weak. It's effective against ghouls, so, you know, I think all the enemies that would be weak to fire are <laughs> susceptible to that anyway, so, you know. Doesn't really matter. So, I really wouldn't buy anything there. Yeah, yeah. Kind of a dick move to put an ether up there, but they did. I think I can... Now you have to go down the stairs. I think that's the last chest here. What are you doing here? Because this is such a short game, like, it's probably going to stay to, like, 20 minutes. Because <laughs> there's just not a lot of time here. The end is to the left, if you remotely care. So let's just, uh, head on up. Oh, Secretary in Training. Just keep her in mind, I guess, for later. Well, after years, I guess. I wonder why they don't give her her portrait here. Eh, whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> You barely even met Palum, Edward. In fact, did you meet Palum? No, I don't think you ever met Palum. <laughs> in the base game. Well, I mean, I know that we could change party members in the complete collection, but that wasn't on canon in the original. Well, yeah, that's what we're here for. I mean, he is king now. Hopefully he's over his dead girlfriend. <laughs> don't, don't take 20 years to get over her. You alright, Rosa? Just lost in thought? Yeah? Is that it? Okay. Yep. Just lost in thought. I mean, I guess. Yes, yeah, it's good to see you too. 
I mean, yeah. How you doing there, Yong? Something bothering you? No? Alright. No Rydia and Edge, for some reason. Oh, she looks pale, huh? <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Yeah, they'll be here eventually, probably. Let's go take a look at the crystal, I guess. Oh yeah, I mean, it's like dangerous, isn't it? What you have? Alright. Here's the crystal. I mean, yeah. Gotta talk to the twins. You wanna stare at a stone? I mean, she's not wrong. Oh, poor him. If only you were half as interesting as you are here, later, or amusing. Oh well. What? What's up, Cecil? You, you just seeing things or something? Yeah, you're totally not important. Don't worry about it. You're just imagining it. Oh, into the Mount Hobbs, huh? Uh oh. Nope, Rosa will come too. I mean, we have other party members. You, you want to join too, Palum, Porum? Uh, not you, Edward. You you suck horribly. Hell, I take sit over you, frankly. No, no, we only get Yang and uh, Rosa. Important thing is the holy arrows for Rosa. Here's what Gong comes with by default. So, you know, pretty good stuff. Uh, do you need. Let's see. Uh, no, you don't. I, I can't really unequip anything on you. I'd love to give that power armor to Cecil, but I just don't think I can. So I would have to uh, just flat remove it. Yeah, you still lose a multiplier anyway yourself, don't you? Yep. Whatever, eventually I'll get something, yeah. So the ice shield, you could buy. That's the only thing I would even consider, but nah, we'll be fine. You could practically run from like every single battle, not buy a single piece of equipment, and you'll you'll beat the game just fine. But I do want to save my money for uh, the end, really. Because there's, um... They're just going to kick these guys. Oh crap, I forgot to turn that on. I can't skip my turn. Oh, I have the arrangement on, by the way. Figure it's appropriate now. Yes, we want to um, turn on battle order skip. I could turn the battle speed up. Yeah, why not? Actually, no, that turns it down, doesn't it? Am I right or wrong? I don't remember. Yeah, let's, let's do it that way. I think that's how you do it. Okay, if you go in the Antlion Cave or anywhere you're not supposed to, there's just a soldier guarding it that says everything's under control or something like that. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Actually, maybe I should turn it back to three. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be hard to keep up with. Can I get to the, the mountain, please? Uh-oh! Sandworm! Oh, man. At least it's not like the Soundworm in the 3... Soundworm? Sandworm in the 3D version. Those guys are bastards. Ah. Oh, God. 
Why? The encounter rate in here is nuts. But yeah, seriously, you could just run from everything in the entire game and finish the game in like 20 minutes. But anyway, um, well, we made it here. It's about 20 minutes, so I'll, uh, yeah, I know. I want you to, I want you to create a save data. I knew you could do it, game. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, we'll uh, end it here. Next time we'll go through the mountain. This is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care.